nice to have you here with me. Uh, you are Rafik Masawi from Tunisia, and you are a consultant for many years in the field of solar thermal, 11 years to be very precise, with your company Alcor. And, um, well, I would like to know from you suc uh, successful story. We hear very successful things from Tunisia. What is the main uh, reasons for this successful development of this market? Okay, uh, thank you. Uh, as you know, uh, the solar water heater market is developed uh, thanks to one program which is called uh, ProSol. And ProSol is a simple program based on a small subsidy of the investment cost of the solar water heater and a loan which is paid through the electricity company, that means through the electricity bill, so just to simplify. And uh, this is was really the engine of the, uh, of the, the market development in, in Tunisia because it allows to poor people who don't have big capacity of payment to, to, to access to uh, solar water heater equipment. So at the beginning of the program, I think 2005, you didn't have much industry and probably not many trained installers. So how did you push these other very important pillars in the solar thermal market to, to be, become like a major industry today? I think the market do this thing by itself. That means we, when we create the market, when, when the, the, we create the mechanism, so we create the demand, normally the, the, the supply come by itself and Uh, the, the investor come and invest in, in, in a local industry. We had one uh, local manufacturer in 2005, and now we have more than seven uh, who are exporting to Morocco, to other, to, even to South Africa, etc. So I think the, 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 the solar water heater program create by itself the, uh, the supply, the local manufacturers. So your revolution in January, February, uh, did this cause problems on the solar thermal market? Yeah, as all the other activities, you know, we have a decrease of the activity because of the, the security uh, issues, etc. So, but I think this is really uh, an, an, an punctual effect. But in the future, I'm sure that as the, the climate of the investment is improved in Tunisia in general, This will have an impact also in the solar water heater sector and we will get more investor and more uh, activities in the country. So is it a model which can be easily transferred to other North African countries, your ProSol intensive? Yeah, I think it, it can be uh, transferred to other countries, but of course under some condition. And uh, the first condition is uh, the implication of the uh, utility. We need Uh, that the utility will be implied, involved in the mechanism, and this is very important. But not, not uh, th this utility should have a very high uh, rate of um, pay, uh, bill, electricity bill payment. Otherwise, uh, otherwise the system will be not will not be attractive for the bankers because one of key factors, uh, success factor in Tunisia, is. Uh, that the, 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 the payment rate of the electricity bill is very, very high. That's the non-payment is around one per thousand percent. So, so, so for, the, the, for, for the bank, it is a very good guarantee to give, uh, to, to give the loan. Otherwise, it's not interesting. So uh, I, I think it's, it's, it's one of the con major conditions to, to transfer Uh, the model. Of course, we need also the, the, the willingness, strong willingness, political willingness to, to, to oblige the, the utilities to, to play the, uh, the, the game. Yeah, the game yeah. So how, which role play energy prices? If they are too low, I think they are the solar thermal is a strong competition. Yeah. If the energy prices are very, very low, It, is very, it will be very difficult to do something. And I can give you the case of Algeria, where the, uh, the bottled gas is for nothing. It's, it's almost free. And in this case, we made some calculation, and the, the, the uh, payback period for the end user is around 100 years. So it's impossible to, to, to do something to attract the, 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 the end user. So we need to have an energy tariff, which, not, which is not too low, but it is... Uh, it's a little bit low, so we can convince the Ministry of Finance 
to, to give a subsidy to avoid uh, subsidy to solar water heater to avoid uh, the subsidy for energy, uh, conventional energy. How about Morocco? This is seen also as a future market in northern Africa? Yeah, I, I think really Morocco is a very interesting market in the future because uh, uh, first it's a huge potential and second it's also uh, the electricity tariff are well there is no subsidy on the electricity stuff, so, so the solar water heat is, is almost competitive uh, compared to electricity heaters, which uh, constitute the major uh, heaters used for, for, for Morocco now, maybe 60 or 70 percent of the, of the heaters. Uh, so there is a big potential and we can, with small subsidies and loans, uh, reduce, uh, imply the, uh, increase the market, I think. So I think Alco, you were one of the sort of founders, creators of this um, amazing ProSoul success story. So what are your next projects? What are you now heading to? Yeah, we, of course, we, we, we want to transfer this uh, system or this model to other countries, like Morocco, for example. But also we would like to, to transfer this model to other uh, um, let's say to, to other subject and to other uh, to other technology and one of our idea and we, and we are working on that in Tunisia uh, on a program which called Promo Isol and this program consists to just to insulate the roof of the existing uh, uh, of the existing uh, buildings so we can reduce the energy consumption by 30 or 35 percent and. We want to base uh, the, the, this program on the same financial mechanism uh, like uh, ProSol. And is there any solar obligation or any uh, building codes adapted to improve this or to...? Yeah, we, we, have, we have a building code, but it not, not include the uh, solar water heater. And personally, I don't believe a lot on obligation in our context because uh, we cannot... Uh, uh, use obligation in in a market where the supply side is not developed and the technology there is no competitiveness on the on the technology itself on the market itself so we need first to develop the market to develop the supply side and then maybe we can arrive to uh, to, to make obligation but making obligation without uh, uh, without having a real market it's it's for, for me it's a little bit risky and how about the process heat and the other applications in the more commercial part? This is another story to open the, these market segments up. Yeah. In Tunisia, we have already what we call uh, tertiary prosol, and it is working uh, now with uh, a, a subsidy system and the loan, um, like the almost like the prosol, the individual prosol. And now there is studies to 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 have to set up. Uh, an industry prosol that means uh, to diffuse uh, the, the use of solar water heater according to a mechanism what we, uh, that we have to develop in industrial process. Ah, so tertiary prosol means um, hotels and public sector. Okay. Yeah. Good luck with all your activities. Thank you for the interview. Thank you very much.